Once the center of black life in Florida's uh, Jacksonville's uh, La Villa neighborhood, it looks far different from its glory days. City leaders leveled La Villa in the 1990s in the name of urban renewal, but not everyone was squeezed out. Our Andrew Badillo was on your site with a story of one woman's remarkable resilience. Bags, some other things in here, Wait. and binders. Pedrica Mendez <laughs> can't help but laugh. That's me. At what's That's inside. Me. 78 years ago. Born in 1938. This is my mama. To Jamie. Oh, my dad wasn't even here. He didn't even see him. And Pedro <laughs> Mendez. In 1927, on the first floor of the Masonic Temple in La Villa, Pedrica's father, a Cuban immigrant by way of New York City, opened P. Mendez Cuban Taylor. That was his second shop he opened in the United States. Yeah, that's one of my costumes. Wonderful. In La Villa, the Mendezes were known as fashionable. In her 20s, Pedrica brought that fashion to fame. I made several movies as an actress. For 16 years, Mendez made films in Italy. Sette donne d'oro contro due zero sette. Two zero sevens. And sang. Well, the first time I went out on the stage, where well, they were throwing these things at me, I thought they were stoning me. Bam, bam, bam. They were pieces of candy. And one of them went and got one, and they opened it up and started eating. So I went and took a piece of candy, <laughs> and I ate it, and sure enough, uh, they applauded. After 16 years of being hit with applause, Pedrica was hit with something different. My mother. My mother was ill. She became terminally ill. So, and I'm the only daughter. I have two brothers. In the 70s, now an adult, her mom and dad gone, and her neighborhood fading. I was hurt when they cut down our big sycamore trees that lined Monroe Street. It was beautiful. It was like a sanctuary. The economic strains of the 70s and drug epidemics of the 80s were followed by urban renewal efforts in the 90s. The neighborhood business and neighbors essentially evicted. But not everyone. It was apartment house right a few doors down. I have not seen an apartment house that pretty. Torn down. No respect. This is the only one that survived and thankfully uh, Ms. Mendez had the temerity to want to stay here and she was one of those that received one of these plaques as being an outstanding architectural example of what old Jacksonville looked like. But old Jacksonville needs help if it wants to survive. Well, if it's not restored, we know we'll lose it because it'll begin to deteriorate more. Mendez has applied for grants to restore the home, but isn't sure she'll get the money. Her hope is to turn her home into a museum where people can learn about her family, father's tailor shop, which Padrica closed in the 2000s, and La Villa's history. We don't want to be anonymous, just like any other place anywhere else in, in America or in the world. We want to be something original. To be original is a timeless fight to prevent becoming anonymous. In La Villa, Andrew Badillo, First Coast News, on your side.